Hello everybody. This is Gus from Runaway Acres. So I'll do a quick video here on uh, we've been having some problems with whoops. Huh. Sorry about that. We've been having problems with rats. And uh, it's just been terrible. First we had them out in the garage. We killed a couple ourselves and uh, so they moved up to the house onto the back side of the house and the only reason why I found them because they found a uh, two baby mice in the house and when I went to go kill them they had pretty long tails and pretty fat tails a little bit bigger than a normal house mouse or field mouse I was like man those are baby rats so later on that day, we were outside and bam, found a rat outside on the back side of the house. And uh, man, they can do some damage. We had some stuff uh, from the greenhouse stacked up against the house and and uh, he was living in there and and uh, he was enjoying his, well, I don't know what it was, he or she never got to kill her, kill it. But uh, we did kill the ones out in the barn, and they were both uh, females. So I thought we were, I thought we were golden. We killed the females. Figured the male rat would take off and go somewhere else. But, but no, now we got baby rats out there in the barn, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. So what I got here is called just one bite, two bar. A one pound box. It's what they look like. So well, that's what they are. Uh, the holes must be for one of them, um, uh, those uh, little black boxes that, for rat traps. They walk in and they don't walk out, something like that. But, man, these things smell just like scratch grains. They really do. And I got this uh, from our local feed, feed store, Berkman's. That's where I get a lot of my feed, and I go to two places and I get feed. Uh, there's uh, Southern States Feed and Supply, and then there's Berkman's Look at my Feeds. Geese up there, up in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, see those two up there? All right, right up there. They're in the neighbor's dog water and the water dish. No wonder why Lucky's over here. It's just terrible. They're just terrible. So let's head on out to the barn. Originally, I had mice in the feed shed. I had this feed shed sitting on the ground and uh, we had, we had, oh man, we had some mice up to wazoo's in there. Oh man, I had some straw in here when I first got the goats. And, uh, but now I got it on the skid that's off of the ground and uh, the shed's pretty well leveled, so I think that was a lot of it. I think there were some some areas where the shed wasn't really level and it was kind of cut, cattywampus. So it didn't seal right, and I think that's how the mice got in there. They didn't really chew anything up, but man, they can really mess up some straw and some hay. Well, looks like everybody's out of the sun and trying to hit into the shade. There's Mo. Everybody's in the barn. That's not good. So I'm gonna stick this rat poison in my pocket here. You know, probably shouldn't put it in my pocket. I had to take my table down out here, so I think I'm gonna take this rat poison. Sit it up here on the top of these tea posts. Hey, there's the guineas. Letting everybody know. 
Hey, there's an intruder out here. Ding dongs, I'm the one who feed you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push all these guys out in the, out in the field. Uh, the reason why I have a double gate system is, well, it's just a lot easier. It's just the two of us. And uh, when one of us come on out here and work, and then we can actually work right there by this gate, and we got two gates. And it takes a little bit for the animals to come on out. What do you want, Mo? Huh? Oh, he's peeing on everything. Come on, quit peeing on stuff. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> oh boy, you're a hot mess, aren't you? Well, if you ask Melissa, she thinks her goat's goofed up because of, I don't know, because of me, I don't know, because I roughhouse with him. And when he went in this rut, and I, I tell you what, we, we roughhouse pretty hard. And uh, I think it's more of a dominance thing that, well, we roughhouse pretty hard. So I think it's more of a, a dominance thing. And, oh, I got Sam in here. Sam's like, I'm not leaving this barn. Huh. Hi, buddy. And uh, my hammer's missing out here. Huh. What, what, what happened to the hammer? Ha! Huh. It's hanging up out here on the... Up on the outside of the barn. Where the rakes and shovels hang up. Oh, I must have done that myself. Well, I got this cattle panel here, and I got some stuff here when we move down. Just really haven't got time to take care of it yet, so. And uh, so I put this cattle panel up here and keep the goats out of it. So, back there, there's a hole. Kind of dug that one out. That used to be another hole. And behind this hay pile, in the behind this hay, back there, they tripped the rat traps and and uh, took all the feedings from back there. So, I uh, guess what I'm gonna do is here is uh, hmm, nice. Wow, that breaks really easy. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this and just throw, whoa, that went all right down in the hole. That's probably not a good thing. I want it right on the outside so they think it's food. I don't want to think of that's uh, a drive-in service here. <laughs> this ain't no fast food. I just want to... There's one gone. Yeah, there we go. There's one right there. Well, I know that I already gave him one pound of rat poisoning. So I think half of this block is probably plenty. And, uh, I really don't want to put too much more down. If I already got them, you know, if they're already taken care of or not. So, I'm gonna stick you guys right here real quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he's right there, he's just staring me down.
you know, for somebody that works on industrial equipment a lot and heavy equipment, sure can't hit a staple with a little hammer. But man, I tell you what, you give me my big old three or four pound <laughs> hammer out of my out of my service van, and I'm gonna hit some stuff. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to take this rat poison on up so I and go take care of it. I say this stuff is pretty bad for all animals. I'm really worried about it because I got these Pyrenees dogs. And uh, if they get hold of one of these rats, man, it could be bad. Bad situation for me. Bad situation for Melissa. She would hate that. Well, probably what I should do is probably go change my shorts since I had the rat poison in my pocket, stuck in my pocket. Didn't really think about it. But uh, I got animals to take care of, so I probably should go in the house, go wash my hands, and and uh, get rid of this rat poison. Um. Just to let you guys know, I don't know if anybody knows what's in rat poisoning, but it's a blood thinner. Makes uh, it's a blood thinner, and uh, it makes. Uh, I know it sounds terrible. It sounds really horrid, but uh, makes the rats hemorrhage and and bleed internally and and bleed out. But, uh, unfortunately, I hate to say this, but I'd rather have dead rats instead of a barn collapsing because these guys are actually eating away at the post and, and uh, digging at the post. They almost got one post, and they haven't been in there. All right, time. people. I'm back. Wash my hands. Changed my uh, shorts because I had that rat poisoning. In my shorts, so and uh, I stuck my hand in there and I felt some crumbs. I was like, Well, it's probably not a wise choice taking care of these animals. And uh, Melissa's on her way home, she actually had a long day at work. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is probably do the chores. <laughs> Go to running down the hill. <laughs> How you doing, Sam? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing? You're not playing in the water? Yeah, that's a big young, huh? Hey, get off there. Come on, Minnie. Come on. Come on, Minnie. So stubborn here lately. Yeah. No. Come on. Come on. There you go.
I keep these guys separated a little bit. Yeah, all animals like molasses. Even the dogs. Hi, Minnie. to the huh. hey there we are there we are here we go 100 degrees yesterday cannot believe it oh what are you doing there Bea huh is that good is that a good? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, no, that's my bucket. You eat out your own bucket. There's no need for you to be a piggy piggy. Is that good? Yeah? Yeah? Is that good? You like your bucket? Oh, scratch them jow jow Oh, yeah! Yeah! Scratch them jaws. Yeah. <laughs> Goofy pig. Eat out of a bucket. Will not eat out of her trays. Oh, man, it is a hot one out here. Whew. Yep. There. Like I said in the past, we do, we travel a lot for our work. Melissa, we live down here in London, Kentucky. And uh, she works up in Lexington. And uh, it's a three hour drive total. Hour and a half there, hour and a half back. That doesn't include of all the, the yahoos on the road. I don't know how to drive, mess up. State of Kentucky is just like Michigan. Uh, I think that's pretty much anywhere. State flowers, orange road cones. <laughs> Man, I have a box up here that's got my greenhouse plastic in it. It's about 10 foot tall. And I just walked up to the house and I just had like uh, four wasp bu buzz me, red ones. And I, so I started to stick the phone up there to video chip. Nope. Mm -mm, they, mm, uh -uh, no. They refuse uh, being on camera. Um, therefore, I must uh, find their manager or something and see if I can get them on camera or something. <laughs> nope, they didn't like that. So they're in my box. From my greenhouse plastics right next to my door and I got it up underneath the, the porch because I'm trying to keep it out of the weather and uh, huh. well got news for those guys tonight oh 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 look at all of them red waspers up there in my plastic because that box oh is hitting the ground and it's getting some wasp spray Hey, look at that. Look who decided to come home. Hey, you fed everybody else, but you didn't feed me. Hey, you guys want me fed? Huh? You guys want me fed? Whew. Neighbor's cat just scared to live in crap. I mean, I was too busy worrying about the geese, and then he just bolted across my feet. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> so in our feed shed, uh, we have our scoops. And then we have these... Uh, 
that's supposed to go up here. I was being a little lazy. A crazy chicken lady catch me being lazy. Being a little hurt. Well, so these are by Tough Stuff product. Feed and feed and seed. So it's pretty good stuff, actually. So in your scratch greens, they've got all kinds of yummy stuff here. I mean, it's made here locally. There is uh, cracked corn. There's wheat. Um, I don't remember what grain. There's soybean oil in with it, and there's some uh, cane molasses in it, and the grain. I don't see any thistle in there, and that's the one thing I, I like about it because I haven't seen any thistle seeds in it. Well, Melissa and thistle do not get along. There's barley. There's a chunk of barley right, you know, right there. There's a chunk of barley right there. Sunflower oil seeds. I mean, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. guys noisy <laughs> so I was talking about this bite one rat poison just bite one two um, bars and I was showing you guys have um, some results afterwards I put those uh, bars down of our rats oh yeah we got one one two three four five and six and uh, looks like we're uh, we're missing some adults so we're gonna put some more rat poison down today and uh, get rid of these guys and uh, we'll go from there, but uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, I get all these guys. Um, like I said, you know, I'm not a big uh, rat poison type of person because I've never had any luck with my in past. And uh, so, needless to say. I'm really impressed. Oh man, man! I tell you what. Oh man, this is the weirdest October I've ever been in. Hottest one of all times. The other day was a hundred degrees. Man, yeah, got down in the forties last night, and we're back at the nineties today. It's like living in the desert almost. <laughs> so, uh, please make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. Everything does help. I'll, I'll uh, keep on recording and I'll keep updates going on. But uh, remember, if you guys had a rat problem, go for that... Uh, that rat poison right there. Just one bite. Alright. 
Catch you guys later and catch you on the flip side.